Jones, you'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... this shot right here it's it's something I'm playing in a lot of my videos um, but it's basically a GoPro on the wing um, love this shot I will be filming this shot this weekend there's gonna be 10 vipers uh, there'll be 10 vipers going to cars and coffee so be sure to watch out for that this weekend uh, and by the way guys I'm at 500 miles so that means I can get after it a lot more than I have been but what I really want to talk about today is a comparison between Ferrari and McLaren. The reason why I want to talk about this is I believe McLaren is really taking the place of the Ferrari. And I think Ferrari is really going luxury mode more than anything, a luxury sports car mode anyways. And I really don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think people kind of get on Ferrari about that a ton. Speaking of Ferrari, I think the only way to get a Ferrari is red, just like Dodge Viper. I mean, there's so many colors in the Viper that I love, but red is just it for me. And if I got a Ferrari, that's all I could get. I mean, I've seen some pretty cool black 458s, but red's where it's at. But anyways, back to the original topic. I really do think McLaren has taken over that amazing sports car, supercar category that Ferrari once was in. When I was a kid, Ferrari was, was it. I mean, Ferrari and Lamborghini, those were the two cars. It's also pretty funny to me that Lamborghini has taken a more conservative approach as well to their styling. Um, it's just, it really is crazy. And when you look at McLaren, they're getting more and more aggressive as time goes. They're trying to copy the P1 more than anything. I mean, with the new lines that they've got coming out, the styling is looking more and more aggressive. The 12C was great, but it really wasn't all that to look at. I mean, when you see it in person, it really is kind of cool, but still, it's a little bland, and it was really made for one purpose, and it was great engineering, but they didn't take too much time about how the car looked. I think the 650S looks amazing, and then the LT, oh my god, even better. Gorgeous, gorgeous cars for McLaren. And to me, it's funny, a lot of the younger generations really look to McLaren as their dream car more than they do to Ferrari and that's just amazing to me it speaks wonders to the car company I mean obviously La Ferrari is a spectacular vehicle it looks amazing performs amazingly it really is in its own small category of hypercars so that's something that that Ferrari can really claim as their own it's it's a great great sector to be in so what's your guys' thoughts? I know we got a lot of Dodge Viper fans here, and I'm obviously one of the biggest Dodge Viper fans out of any car, um, from especially from the quarter million dollar range down. I think this is worth every penny of a quarter million dollars, but that doesn't mean that I don't have a special place in my heart for some of these other cars. So yeah, that's my question to you guys. What is sort of your other dream car or runner-up dream car, or if money wasn't an issue, what would be your dream car, top of the line, excluding Dodge Viper? And what do you guys think of McLaren and, and Ferrari? Where are they going? Do you think that Ferrari really is turning into more of a luxury brand and McLaren's gonna take its spot? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Well, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Like I said, this weekend's going to be a great weekend. We've got at least, I think, 10 or 11 Dodge Vipers rolling out to this Cars and Coffee, so there's going to be a convoy of us. It's going to be sweet, and I'm at the 500 mark now, 500 mile mark, so I'm going to get after it quite a bit more on the freeway. Hopefully, there's no cops. Cheers. Be safe. Bye-bye.